Hey you guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and welcome back to the Pillars. Now before I start this episode, I do want to say that my last video was an April Fool's joke. If you didn't see it, I uploaded it yesterday. It said that my favorite world, my main fun skyblock world, was deleted. That was an April Fool's thing. Sorry if you didn't get it. I actually feel kind of bad now, but... I thought it was pretty good, and if you're wondering how I did it, there is a way that I did it by just simply hiding the world. I made an extra copy of the world and renamed it to Achievements and Bedrock World Transfer Tester, so I actually made two copies, and then both of those worlds were there, so even after I deleted my original and the copy, then I still had the two new copies that I could continue from at the same place, so no progress has been lost there. Don't you guys worry. It's not real. Now, in other news, in the pillars, we have made some serious, serious, I don't know about serious, we've made some progress in between episodes, because last episode we of course mined this entire pillar, and I'm going to be replacing that area with its own little farm, which is what we're going to be doing this episode. So, let's just start and put the water in here. Now, we do need dirt. I forgot about the dirt. Maybe we should grab dirt. Also, why? Is that... What? Wait, okay, there's a pig here, there's only, um, how did this pig get here? We have nothing to lure him with, so, uh, I think we'll just trap him in some oak wood at the moment, because, um, we don't want him to despawn or something, that would be bad, so... Yeah, you stay here, buddy. Um, I'll figure out what to do about him later. That is so weird. Why do they glitch through the fences like this, guys? It's so un- Look at this cow did it, too. Why do they glitch through the fences? And I just lost the leather, which is the important part of the cow. Gosh darn it. Now, what we're going to be doing this episode is making a mini sugarcane farm, and we're actually going to be using a different design from the one in my survival world. We're going to be using a design that's slightly less efficient, but only very slightly less efficient. And it should definitely suit all our needs for paper, for books and stuff. And it's gonna be good, just not amazing. So, now, before that, though, we do need to get more jungle wood, because I decided to build it out of jungle wood. I don't know why, and we're going to take a risk and use this jungle sapling here. And since we only have two saplings, it's quite a risk. Oh, and we need dirt. Oops, 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 we gotta grab the dirt. Can't forget about that again. Uh, perfect, we have eight dirt. I'm actually only using... Six sugarcane, because I'd rather it not be any bigger, because every single sugarcane needs its own observer, its own piston, its own redstone. Basically, every single sugarcane adds a bunch more materials. In between episodes, I did make most of the materials, so we won't have to make a lot of it, but I didn't make it all so that we would actually have something to do in the episode, because I can't just make everything. So, here's our little water center thing. Put some dirt on the sides, because this is where the sugarcane's going to go. And then we'll put some sugarcane on here. Now, if you're wondering how we dodged the problem that we ran into in the other world, it's the fact that the observers are not lined up to detect the pistons. It makes the farm slightly less compact, but it makes it more simple and, um... I guess it makes it quieter and cheaper, because the main reason we couldn't do it the other way is because it requires a sticky piston. And that would mean that we have to find a slime chunk which would mean that we'd have to just basically build aimless platforms and hope that some of them get slimes on them at night. Now, we might not even need to use that jungle sapling, because I just realized that I think this is the entire farm. Wait. Oops, wrong side. I pointed it the wrong way. Okay. Now we have to pick up the observer without sending it into the void. Okay. There we go. Now, one, two, three. And over here, we can do the exact same thing. One, two... Why did I do this? One... There we go. So we got one of... I love their face in this texture pack, too. Look at the face. It's so clean. Also, what is this? I don't know what they've made here. A tea? It's a nice tea. Nice tea, guys. Um, I didn't realize that we had enough jungle wood. Actually, wait. No, we don't, because we still need the back. Oh, okay. So, we aren't done. I just thought that we were done. It would probably be fine, to be honest, because I don't think we really need the most efficient farm ever. But, I would rather have a more efficient farm than a less efficient farm. 
So we're just going to break it down one of these oak trees and then grow a jungle tree in its place. Uh, hopefully we don't lose a jungle sapling in this process because we only have one. I still find it ridiculous that jungle trees have such low sapling drop rates. Um, I don't know why they have such low sapling, sa eh, sapling drop rates because it's just weird. Like, most other trees, you get two or three saplings from. In dark oak trees, you get even more, because obviously you need four to regrow a tree, so you get around four or five for every single dark oak tree. But with jungle trees, you rarely even get one, at least in my experience, which is so weird, because it's just all the other trees are good, and then this one tree is like, no, I'm not going to give you any saplings today, sir. Thank you very much. Now let's put the sapling down. Wa-boom, and then let's break these. Because we don't want any leaves to accidentally be lost when the jungle tree grows. Because jungle leaves are much more important. Now let's bone meal this thing right here. There we go. That's plenty of wood. But see how it has less leaves than the other trees? Here's the thing. It doesn't. It has the exact same number of leaves. It just has a lower sapling drop rate. And it really bugs me. Because there's only one jungle tree in this world originally. Which means that, like, there's no jungle wood other than the wood we can make ourselves by growing it. And also, now I have to mine this with my hand. Well, this is kind of disappointing, but it, it should give us enough jungle wood to finish the project at least, so that's good. Now, guys, I tried Bedrock Edition again because they released another update today, and this update brings it so much closer to being as good as the console edition was. It's so much better, like, when you click things, they activate on the first press instead of release, which I shouldn't really be praising them on. It should be something that was that should have been there at launch, but I think it's good. I still think it's good, at least. So, uh, can you drop a sapling, please, sir? Okay, we're gonna have to do some tree jumping, just so we can get up to the leaves. Um, I think the savannah tree... Ugh. Okay, this might take a little while. I haven't tried to parkour... Oh my gosh! I used to be so good at doing jumps in this game. Okay, let's get up here. Let's just break the leaves. It, there's... There! Okay, we at least got one. So now we can replenish the tree. We haven't lost a sapling. But will we have a gain? Or will we just have... Because right now we have a net gain or net loss of zero. And we fell out of the... <gasps> Another one! Okay, if we get one more sapling, that means that we can create a large jungle tree. Which should be way easier to get saplings from. So that would be interesting. Also, guys, since I now have an open spot for a series on my channel, since, you know, the Adventurer's Dream ended, should I finish the collapse? Because it never really ended. I just kind of stopped recording it when Dungeon Craft came out. Then when Dungeon Craft ended, I started, um... I think I started The Pillars, actually. Yeah. So this was the series that came after Dungeon Craft, and it was just supposed to replace it. But I never, for some reason thought about the collapse, but I don't really want to, because if you listen to those old- <gasps> We got another one! Oh my gosh, guys! That's enough saplings now, in total, that we can actually grow a huge jungle tree! Okay, this is actually a much more productive episode than I thought. We turned our most rare wood in the game into almost infinite wood by just one sapling. See, four is exactly enough to make a big tree. Yes! Success! Also, we need some glass panes, because I would like there to be a window on the, um, the farm, because that would be pretty cool. Now, let's get in the bed here. Okay, I just realized that we should probably use solid glass, because we don't want any, um, sugar cane to actually accidentally get stuck on the edges. Now, I did just think that our farm doesn't have any hoppers. That's kind of an issue. Ugh, okay, we need a way to pick stuff up. Why did I forget about the most important part of a farm? You need a way to, you know, get the stuff from the farm. Why do you keep getting out of the pen? Oh, these guys are hopeless. Now, this is actually, I think, probably going to be the only automatic farm we build in the pillars, because, you know, resources are super scarce. We're pretty much just doing it for a goal, but this is the one farm that will give us the most advantage from, like, the rest of the series. So, the other options were just not as good. And this is probably the best one we have. Now, uh, we will need to build a ceiling here. I forgot an axe, so that's annoying. I'm gonna still have to do this place and just break thing. But whatever. It'll work. Will it really work, though, to be honest? It should work. 
I don't know why it wouldn't work, but you never know why it wouldn't work. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. It's just, I just start saying things sometimes, to be honest. Now, that torch should be good for all the light in the farm that it would need, but I don't know. Farms are a little weird in this game sometimes, so let's get the glass in here. We got one, two, three. I know that glass is completely pointless. It just looks better. Four, five, and then we'll leave the middle open so that we can put some torches on top of this machine so that we don't get mobs spawning and ruining everything. Um, one, two, there we go. I think that's the most efficient placement we can do. So, yeah, it's pretty good, to be honest. I think it's almost done. We still need that uh, hopper track under it. So why do chickens keep getting out to... Guys, this is the worst actual bug. Like, why do they glitch out of their thing? Imagine if it happened when there were only two in there. Then we'd actually be at a problem because we would lose all the ability to breed them again, which is actually exactly what happened with the pigs, but we were able to trap it before it was able to, you know, jump off the cliff or something ridiculous. Uh, now let's kill this sheep here just to get its stuff before it kills itself, um, because they literally, I've seen them just jump off the edge, because apparently they have no sense of, like, I want to live, so they just jump off the edge at any opportunity. Now, so let's think here. We do have a stone pickaxe. Stone pickaxe is good enough to get some iron. So to get iron, though, we need to figure out how much iron we need. And we also need at least one powered rail to keep it going forever. So that's six. Wait, we need iron to get the gold. Gosh darn it. Got to go back to grab the iron pickaxe now. So we also need one redstone. We need at least ten. No, we need 16 iron because we need the... No, we need 21 iron because... Oh, there's a lot of iron we need. Oh my gosh. Let's put these jungle planks away for now, because they're still not the most plentiful thing we have. So I'd rather keep some, just in case we somehow reverse the multiplication that we just made and kill all the uh, trees in the world. That would be a little unfortunate, wouldn't it? Now, um, we do need an axe too, but we'll, we won't bother with the axe. We just need a pickaxe right now. And 21 iron plus 6 gold just to make this farm, my goodness, we really need to get the iron farm working, which I need to do more wheat farming. Now, I could probably make a fully automatic wheat farm in this world. That would be actually super simple to make. It's just we need to get so many seeds and spend so much time. I don't think I really want to do that. And it would just be for the process of breeding more villagers. So in the end, it's not really the best idea. Now what we could do is do what I've seen in some YouTube videos where they set up a villager farm in, I mean a breeding villager farm, inside of a wheat farm so that the villagers are constantly making their own food, but I don't think we have any farmers yet so that wouldn't work. As soon as we get a farmer, we can add some wheat in there so that they'll actually do their own farming so we don't have to keep giving them food. So we need 21 iron here. Uh, I think we got 11, 12... 13, 14, uh, 15. Oh, and no, we lost one. Yep, one's down. Okay, that's kind of sad. Um, this is just a little ring here. Okay, we'll just grab that one. 15 and 16. Now, four, five more. 17, 18. Just climb up these vines, I guess. Uh, 19, 20. 21. Where's, where's the, okay, there's the 21st one, and there we go. Uh, 21 iron, we lost one though, but we should be able to have infinite iron eventually, it's just, it's not coming fast enough, because we need to eventually, we need to get it soon, so that's a problem. Now, let's just start smelting all this iron here. We can get together the other stuff while the iron is smelting. Oh, but we need some fuel, of course. Now, uh, I think we'll just split this. Actually, this should work fine for now. And we'll just chuck the other iron in there because now we need to go build the underside platform where the stuff's going to go around, and we also need to build the chest. So wood, uh, oak planks, oak planks. Perfect. Boom. Now, let's run over uh, to the area. Actually, wait. No, 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 no. We need to craft some, I think, three chests because one of them's going to be the one that the sugar cane goes to, one of them's going to be built in the hopper minecart, and one of them's going to be built in the hopper that picks up the stuff. I think it's kind of weird that hoppers are mainly used for putting things into chests, but they take a chest to build themselves. Like, isn't that strange to anyone? Is that just me? Whatever. Also, let's just kill that guy. There we go. 
I built the platform, and yet they're still dodging death. I don't understand. Maybe they updated chicken AI so that they actually fly away from lava. That'd be really bad, because I hadn't planned for that when I first built it. So, uh, oak planks should be fine. They're kind of ugly compared to the jungle ones, but it'll work. So, let's think here. We do need an axe. Wait, no, we can just do this. Yep, this'll, this'll do for now, I think. Now, the dirt is going to be exposed to, to the, um, bottom of everything, so that's not the greatest, but whatever. You know, it'll do for the moment. Uh, probably just want to build like that now. And, oh, oh, almost died. That was great. We do need to get the water back up. Um, you should be able to pick block water and then get a bucket out. That's just my opinion, but I think everyone would be happy with that. Now, uh, down here, we got to put the other side, boom, and then just push up against the top and break. Yes. And I'm stopped. Okay. Take two. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to break that. Don't want to break that. Don't want to break the dirt. Bad idea. Bad idea. And I broke the sugar cane, too. Did I get the sugar cane, though? I did get the sugar cane, so it's all okay. Uh, we got to break this guy. We got to make sure we don't break the dirt by accident this time. And by the time we get back to our place, after we've mined all this stuff, we should actually have enough to make the rest. So, boom, boom, and then this one's going to be the hopper. Now we need to go up and do that on the other side. So, grab you, hop up and over this. Actually, wait, let's replant quickly. Boom. Also, apparently there was two on that one that we broke by accident, so that's good. Uh, now let's just put some water down and drop. Just put these out. One, two, two, two. And then the power rail will be right here. So we do need a redstone torch. We'll put like a redstone torch right there. And then there we go. It should all be good now. Uh, we do need to get up though. That would be nice to not drown. So grab the water because that's ugly. We don't want the water flowing down afterwards. And now let's think here. So it's coming here. Hopper's going to be here. That means the chest is going to be right here. We don't have an axe again. Again. And then right here is going to be where the... Wait. Yeah, the chest is going to be right down here. Right here. Oh, guys, they did another update for Xbox One Edition in between episodes, but they added a really bad feature from Bedrock Edition 2. And it's the worst. It's the thing where when you're standing on top of a chest, you can't open the chest. It's terrible, and it's so annoying. I don't know why you would add that. It's just, it makes things harder. It doesn't make it more fun. And we ran out of fuel here. Okay. This should work. Enough of that now. Uh, we do need sticks, which we should have enough wood to make some. Let's make some rails. Boom. Powered rail. Boom. Now we have way more powered rail than we'll ever need. And we should have enough sticks left over to make a torch. And now we need hoppers, of course. One, two. And then we need a minecart from the last two iron. And that should be good. So, uh, minecart. Minecarts are in transport, obviously. Then, minecart hopper. And now I think we can finish it. So, most of the important part of the farm, like the observers and stuff, is actually the easy part to make, turns out. The hard part is to make the part that picks it up, because it takes way more resources. I forgot just how many resources it takes to make something simple like that. But, now we're done. So, we gotta put the hopper right on the back of that. And then the redstone torch right over there. Boom. Boom. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have a problem. It's on the wrong side. Now we have to go to the other side and fix that. That's annoying. Uh, we don't want to die here either. That's going to be a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do about that little drop. But I don't know. Whatever. Thank goodness mobs don't spawn on bedrock either. So we don't have to go down to that pillar base that we destroyed. It's kind of crazy to think that I've built this whole thing where a giant pillar of stone was. In fact, we've built this thing where a cool spiral staircase was. Think about that for a second. We've sacrificed a cool spiral staircase for some silly farm. Why have we done this, guys? Why? Why did we sacrifice such an amazing creation for something so silly as a farm up for infinite resources? It's sad. Hashtag rest in peace, spiral staircase, forever. 
Now it's getting to night, so that's not good, but I think it'll um, be fine because we've lit up everything really well. And it's really important to light everything up, by the way, guys. When you're in a Survival Sky series, it's just a bad idea to leave anything dark. Because then the monsters will kill you. Uh, okay, it has now connected. We will put the minecart hopper down. We will push the minecart hopper. Um. And it will... I forgot to place the, the torch. Okay. Um. No, wait, we broke the torch with the water when we were getting up. Ah, uh, such a stupid mistake. Now we're going to have to break all this wood behind us. At least the torch didn't fall into the void. That's good. We don't want that to happen. Void torches are not fun because we lose them forever. Push. And now we have a much better minecart that's just going in circles forever. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I put the rails two out from where the actual farm is, that's because of the fact that the minecart, as you can see, doesn't even go to the last outer two rails. It turns before it even reaches those. It's an annoying bug, but I think we made it work for now. So now, we should have a system where everything works, to be honest, I think. Uh, unless, you know, something bad happens. Unless we get shot off right now and lose our bucket and our iron pickaxe. And there's creatures on that. Oh no, we need to fix that portal hallway before it gets blown up or burned down again. That's a problem. Uh, okay, back through here, break this. We're almost to safety. And I think actually we'll go up on this side this time so we don't break any redstone. Because breaking redstone by accident is not a good idea. Because then we have to go and rebuild it like we just did. Now let's break this wood right here. And we are so close to being done, guys. We are so close to being done with this machine. Stone slab. Pick this water up. And I think we're done. We need to do something about this chest situation over here. But other than the chest situation, I think this is a very good farm. Now, we can't actually finish it here, of course, because of how I've built the thing. But I think we can see that, yes, our stuff is being picked up. Let's do a little test here. Let's place that up there. Yup, it gets broken. Some gets mistakenly put up there. And then it gets all into the chest, and we've made a sugar cane farm, guys. That is goal number 14 complete, which means the next goal is quite a crazy one. Create your very own pillar. 100 blocks high. Yeah, that's gonna be a crazy goal. But we just did goal number 14. Let's go see it in the book, just so we can say we have completed this goal here. And it is goal number 14. 14, create a fully automatic crop or animal farm. It picks up all the stuff, puts it in a chest all by itself. It is fully automatic, and that, guys, is the end of this episode. So for now, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.